All right, so it's time for the oil change for the CRV. I have some cardboard on the ground and I'm pretty much ready to go. So this time I am going to go with a, another Baldwin 1402 Honda Spec oil filter. Um, it worked well for the uh, Civic. So I actually bought an, uh, a few more of these filters and, uh, and I have the Kirkland Full Synthetic. So hold on tight. So to do the oil change on the CRV, this is the panel that has to come out. There is a number of screws that are quick release and um, some of them are just regular screws. So I will show you that. All right, so under the CRV, this is the oil change bolt right here. And there's the oil filter right there. I'm gonna drain the bolt first and then go from there. Um, not this one, that's the CVT one. So the one it is, is where the oil pan is. This is the filter and right where the filter is, the blue filter is where your oil change bolt is. So there are a total of nine bolts. This is a regular screw bolt and it's the Phillips and then the other um, so there's three of those and there's six of these which are quick release and this is the flathead screwdriver one So six plus three nine bolts don't lose them. All right, so with a 17 millimeter ratchet um, I'm gonna put you guys down here. Hopefully you guys can see but last time I had a heck of a time loosening this right so uh, on the Civic and that was the dealership that tightened it. So let's see how um, tight this one is because I did this oil change last right so I don't let's see there you go wasn't too bad all right so again this bolt doesn't have to be super tight all right so don't reef on it just needs to be uh, snug and then um, just tighten it a little bit more than snug and you're good so we'll loosen the bolt now. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Pull that washer. Oops. All right, so there's a bit of a mess, but it's okay. Just a few drops on the cardboard. So, as you can see, oil is pretty dark. There's three um, ounces of Marvel Mystery oil in here. So, um, within this video, I will show you guys how much this measures. It's supposed to be 3.5 uh, liters, um, plus my three ounces of Marvel Mystery oil. So, hopefully, there's not too much um, because that means I'm still getting oil dilution on this engine, too, right? So please stay tuned. All right, so on to removing the oil filter. Just gonna make sure my bucket is underneath it. And I put this oil filter on last and nice and easy. Not too bad. So it's already loose. And before I go any further, I'm gonna use the solo cup trick again because it saved me huge in just getting oil all over my wrist. Still coming down a little bit, but at least my hand is relatively clean. So excuse the cracking, but... Alright. So basically I'm using the solo cup as a catch for the excess oil that comes off of the oil filter. And now see, I got the filter in my hand. I'm gonna pour all the excess into the bucket because I wanna measure how much I have in fuel dilution. All right, and I can show you guys what the filter looks like. 
Right, so moment of truth, because I remember buying this Honda oil filter from the dealership and it was made in Japan. So hopefully it is because then I can rip it apart and then I can do a comparison with the other made in USA one. So there you go, perfect. Made in Japan. All right, so stay tuned. I will pull it apart and show you guys what the difference is. All right, so this is uh, this part's quite important. Uh, you always, with a clean, new uh, type of like a wipe, um, non uh, uh, lint, you know, type of rag. You just want to make sure you wipe this area which is where the filter goes nice and clean okay make sure that the gasket's not stuck on here because it is possible that the oil filter gasket gets stuck there and of course just wipe around the area make sure that it is relatively clean but wipe the oil filter uh, connection parts first then wipe around the area um, and because you don't want to wipe off all the dirt and crud and whatever, and then, then get it on to that, um, very important part, right? So that's the idea. All right. So I'm prepping another oil filter. This is for the CRV. And as you guys know, Honda's actually used the exact same oil filter for every single, uh, one of their modern cars. So this is a Baldwin series. B1402 for Honda, and I'm just gonna fill it up with some Kirkland Synthetic. All right, so that should be enough. And then just gonna use a little bit of that oil to wet that gasket. And that's it, it's ready to go in. And just like that, the bald one is in and I already tightened it. So just hand tighten. It doesn't have to be very tight. Don't reef on it or else it's gonna be impossible to take off the next time. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure once more that everything is drained out because there might be a few droplets left. Make sure I don't lose that washer. So yeah, a few drops. Ready to fill. All right, almost done. So I have a three point, let's say 3.2 or, th or so liters uh, measured in on this Kirkland uh, post synthetic bottle. Um, I have a few bottles of this, so basically I was able to measure it out. So 3.3, just check that again, three point, just a little bit three over three liters because I put some into the um, oil filter so that Basically, just want to be safe. Don't overfill the engine or else it'll be a pain. You can see how it's pouring in, hopefully. Nice golden, fresh synthetic oil. All right. So part of the, uh, you know, the reason why I like to keep the engine so clean is because of this reason like basically when you do certain things like this you just, the last thing you wanted to have is like dirt and all sorts of different things fly into the engine right if if the engine bay is dirty then it's going to be hard to uh, keep this important thing uh important uh process clean right so that's it for now i'm gonna go ahead and measure uh dipstick and uh, but before that i'm gonna check for leaks and then lower the uh, uh engine down or lower the car down. No leaks. I've already uh, tightened the oil filter and the uh, drain bolt and um, uh, no leaks. So basically I'm gonna put the bottom plate back on and then make sure that the uh, oil is at exactly where it needs to be. Here's a bit of a pro tip. Uh, I'm putting on this uh, panel basically and you want to, what you wanna do is um, tuck the front into the uh, this black piece and then afterwards there's Honda was smart enough to put one of these tabs here to sort of help you with 
you know, tucking and, and then if you push up at the same time, you know, tuck underneath that tab, in which case it holds it in for you so that you can put the bolts on now. Pretty clever, see? I don't have any bolts in uh, and that tab actually keeps it in place. That's to the, uh, I'm under the car, so that's to my right, which is under the passenger side. So that tab right there is very helpful. Keeps the plate in place. All right, so the car is pretty much a level. I've lowered it from the um, jack. And just to mention, I, I didn't say this, but to make sure that you guys are using proper safety equipment when you're doing your oil changes, right? Um, make sure you have jack stands and, you know, um, safety is number one. So with that being said, let's see where my oil is at. That's where. It's hard to see. I mean, looks like it's over full, but I think I may have to run the engine and let it warm up. Hmm, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to run the engine. Um, I measured how much I put in there, so I know that uh, it's gonna be about three and a half liters, pretty much exact, uh, maybe a little bit under. It's a little, probably a little bit better that I have under, and that way I can add a little bit more rather than how I'm gonna take it out, right? So I don't have one of those pumps or anything. Um, while I'm at it, just make sure you guys do wipe the oil cap that's back in. Oil cap's on and I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna go for a drive later, warm it up and then check the oil again and then add if needed. All right, so I went for a 10, 15 minute uh, run there and the engine should be pretty hot, up to temperature anyway. And as you can see, the oil is pretty clean just because it's fresh oil that it just changed. And then here is where baseline is gonna be. Really hard to see, but see that? It's actually right at the line. Right below the line, actually, you see that? Right below the line. So the amount of oil I've been putting in is actually, it goes a little bit above, right? So that means um, I've been putting a little bit more oil in, which is fine. I, I would actually rather have a little bit too much oil in there, um, as in a little bit over full, like three, if it's 3.5, I have 3.6 or 3.7, just because there's basically extra oil in there, right? Um, it doesn't uh, damage the engine until you have way over, like by a liter, pretty much, right? Because that's when um, th there's a certain amount of room that the engine can have over, right? So like uh, 200 cc or whatever is not gonna make a huge difference, right? So anyways, I am probably gonna add a little bit more oil, oil in there because, let me do it again. So I'd rather have it a little bit over the full line rather than be too low. Okay, focus. Yeah, so it is actually below the full line by a tiny bit. Mm, let's say about a millimeter or so. Yeah, so I'm gonna add a little bit more and then uh, that will be my baseline. All right, so there you go. So anyways, guys, so not without getting too crazy, what I'm trying to um, point out is that the level that I fill up the car may be a little bit over 3.5 liters. Uh, it's a little hard to sort of pinpoint, but um, I put 3.5 liters in here, right, exactly. So this level, it might be low. So, and it looks like it might be a little bit low. So when I add more, 
it means that it's over 3.5 liters, like closer to 3.7. That may be why I'm getting that high uh, mark when I measure how much gets drained out. But anyways, either way, I'm if I'm getting some more dilution, I'm still I'm only getting a little bit, and this is at just a little bit over 5,000 kilometers. So if I'm getting you know a few hundred cc's of oil dilution, that's actually way better than what I was getting before. Um, it within like a thousand kilometers or whatever after the oil change, it will go into the metal, right? It was literally going up into here. So, um, well, anyways, either way. I'm getting a lot less than before, all right? So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.